Okay, so I bought some black pine bonsai trees and uh, this is a recap of how that's going. Enjoy. All right, so I ordered 150 black bonsai, um, black pine bonsai trees. Like and order some of these. Okay. Supposed to be a 150 black pine tree, uh, bonsai seeds, black pine bonsai seeds. And what we're going to do is soak that for 24 hours. I'm not going to count them, but that's at least a hundred or more. Some of them are already starting to drop. That's good. So I'm understanding you soak them for 24 hours and then you plant them. So that's what we'll do. Okay, so it's been a little more than 24 hours. I didn't get them out right after 24 hours. But you can see most of them have sank. So what I'm going to do is sift the water out if I can. Let me get all the seeds out into this napkin. Like that. Couple left here. I have to, I guess. There we go. That's all of them, I think. Yeah. Now we're going to plant them. Okay, so I've got a little uh, a planter here that I had from last season. It's got uh, some good soil in it. I'm just gonna damp it down. It's my goal here. This thing doesn't work exactly right, but it'll get the job done. So I just wanna make sure the soil is good and damp. I got a little extra soil here if I need it. That will be good. Good and soppy. Okay. And I'm going to take these seeds and try to get them in here. Some kind of way. all of them were at the bottom of the water jar so I understand that's a good sign not going to be spread out perfect but I'm going to try to spread them out the best that I can uh, using tweezers or something. I've seen one guy was doing tweezers. Maybe I should be that precise, but I'm just, I'm not, so.
All right, so then I'm going to take just a little bit of dirt that I had in another planter and just kind of gently cover them up. Just get enough soil on the top of the seeds where they're in a place covered up. Okay. And then I'm going to damp them one more time. Make sure that dirt looks good and damp everywhere so that they stay damp. And I'm gonna keep them inside. It's a little cool. The weather's turned a little cool on us again. It was almost springtime, but we had another cold spell. So I'm gonna keep them inside, you know, in 65, 70 degree temperature until, and keep them damp until the sun's coming out it's really turned to spring we're just a few days a week or so from spring so i think that's probably good and this uh this tray does drain out so it's not gonna hold water in the bottom or anything like that so just a little just a little update on this these have started coming up as you can see we've got them coming up So just to follow up on this, originally I thought these that sprouted up were the black pines that I planted, but thinking now that no, because I'm starting to see a lot more of these. I don't know if you can see that good, but that's the actual seeds that I planted and they're starting to show up a lot more. Let's see if I can get that better there's a number there's another one there they're starting to come up so I'm thinking I had used this dirt this soil um, a year or so ago to try to plant a number of different seeds that nothing came up from and I'm thinking that some of these are the leftover seeds just because I put the right grow light or whatever but look at that if you can see where are they there, yeah, look there. Can you see those? Let's see if you can. Right here, see that? There, 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 there. So that's the actual black pine seeds. So I guess we'll just keep watering all these and see what these are. These things are literally popping up everywhere now. Look at, look. Popping up everywhere. That one's come out and it's got shook its seed off. That one's about to. Look, I mean, they are everywhere. So, quite a few. Um, have shed their seed covering still a lot of them that haven't but I've never had any luck with seed before but literally these guys are everywhere look at that I'll be I'm gonna get them a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna separate them try you know separate them into individual canisters so they can grow and have their own root system not tangled up with each other but uh, 
I'll be showing that pretty soon. So you can see that most of them, at least a lot of them, have um, outgrown the seed covering. Some of them have fallen over. I don't know why, but you can see that most of them have um, shaken the seed off, I guess you'd say. I'm going to now attempt to repot them into individual pots. A little bit of a fry up day on a water chain. You see the hose in there. Oh, doing good. We have lost a few more, but still treating with salt. But it seems to be, I don't know, some something still fooling with them. But you can see some of them are getting really big. 